Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Awakening Carol's Hero video. Guys, if you want to have access to all the best content for Awakening Carol's Hero, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check the bell so you get notified when we have new content. Also, guys, make sure you smash that like button as it helps the channel grow. So, guys, today we're going to jump into the summoning event. Uh, from uh, the event section it is finally time for the first summoning event in awakened carols here since the soft launch guys so we're going to be uh we're going to be completing this event pretty much uh how to complete this is pretty simple you use advanced summoning crystal you get 100 points for every advanced summoning crystal you need 4,000 points so if we do really basic maths we need 40 advanced summoning crystals so we do have exactly 40 so going to be able to do this challenge the rewards here are actually pretty decent rewards we get two mil coupons 100 diamonds we get the two uh, four star pumpkins two five stars uh you know terra gear i think it's actually pretty solid and a six hour uh, double xp cards i i kind of like the rewards here i think we're missing maybe a little bit of energy into that i think if they handed a 200 energy for example instead of 20 000 jelly uh, i would really like that but overall great rewards guys definitely gonna help our account but i'll obviously we need duplicate to those summons to actually make some characters stronger and maybe we maybe we can pull Wintrex too that would be amazing so let's jump into the summon guys and let's go with uh with four pool, four pool of 10 guys and see what we're going to be getting and obviously while we are at there we also going to be doing uh some limited summon after we do the advanced summon we never know we might actually pull something great so let's get started here guys let's hope we're going to see that gold din beam come on gold gold yes we see a gold beam guys so we have a chance to get something we actually need so let's see all drag we do not need this ugly bastard sadly and so we get anything else no that was a terrible 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 pull but we just finished the weekly quest so i guess that's that's that uh so yeah this dude uh we have no plans on building him at the moment so uh yeah I kind of stink. I don't even know if he's good. I just have no plans to build them at the moment. Uh, next one. Next pull. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Every time you do a summons and we don't get a legendary, by the way, guys, you have an increased chance to get a legendary. Uh, you know, there's a pity timer. So that's that. Okay. Here we got Jonathan. Again, the characters. I have no plans to build. Tillness. No current plan to build the dude. Uh, let's see if we can get something else. And we get Vance and no uh, plans to build this dude, but three epic characters. We cannot really complain. If we look at the uh, PD timer here, you can see we are at one plus 18% chance to get a legendary. So uh, plus 17. So we have 18% chance to get a legendary on the next poll, obviously. Uh, we're going to do 10 pull here. Hopefully we actually get something good here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Give it to Pop Boss. Pretty much almost guaranteed we're going to get something really soon, though. Let's see. And we have a legendary Evira. I have no idea if she's any good. Uh, see, it is the first time I actually pull her. So we're going to have to take a look at her, obviously. So if we look at the passive ability here, Creel Blade, uh, plus one rage per validate on enemy max. Four rage, convert all rage into bonus attack with artillery support up and reaching max rage. And if you have that to ascended, you're going to get a grant attack up at the start of battle, which is great. A basic attack here, uh, deal 60% damage to an enemy with a 15% chance to apply bleed for two turns if they affected by attack up then launch a bonus attack with gunfire so that could actually be very very good for uh you know the boss with the the shield i forgot the name uh <laughs> the, the wood boss uh in um in the gear fights uh you know i forgot the name guys but uh, we can probably see it on the other page here i'm pretty sure i cannot fi find it really 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 fast roaring tulpa there we go roaring tulpa can actually be very useful against that obviously uh the second ability here deal 80 80 percent damage to the enemy and remove a positive effect from the target if affected by attack up then launch a bonus attack with gunfire so you can see already a huge 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 um a huge synergy with connor because connor apply shield apply attack up that can actually be very useful and then we have the ultimate 
a character here, uh, the ultimate ability, the 80 to 160% damage you'll enemy and grant attack up to this characters for three turn. Wow, this is amazing. So my guess is that I will be building her for Roaring Tulpa. I don't see her not being useful for there. So definitely uh, I will be building her. We're going to start farming, uh, you know, uh, stuff we need. But she is a wood character, so it's actually weird. But still, very, very, very useful, guys. So I'm thinking building her for Roaring Tulpa. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm thinking about it. So the PB timer is reset here, you can see. So the advantage is that if we actually went with only one summon at a time, when the legendary got summoned, the PB timer will have started again. So the eight summons we had after her, we did not get any advantage from the PB timer. So when you think that your PD timer will be beneficial for you, I do recommend you to go one summon at a time. I think that's something they need to fix in the future but for now that is what we want to do but we don't want to make this video too long anyway so we're going to do another 10 pull here and see what we get and we get another golden beam so i guess that is good let's see what we get we get another legendary we get valeria awesome that is the first time i pull her we get a record and that's not the first time i pull him so two legendary and 40 pulls. I gotta say, guys, that was actually a pretty good session here. And if we actually take a quick look at her here, if we look at the passive here, reduce all ability cooldown by one turn, open the death of an enemy, and reduce all ability of... It's actually the same, I'm guessing, increase by one turn? I don't know. When you ascended... Um, all ability cooldown by one turn. All ability cooldown by one turn from the death of any unit. Okay, it's any unit. My bad, guys. So somebody in your team die. Well, reduce all ability uh, cooldown by one turn. Can actually be very useful. If we look at the basic here, a deal 70% 70, 70 damage to uh, two enemies. And with a 50% chance to apply defense down for two turns, 50% chance, not a big fan of that. The second skill is deal 80% um, damage to an enemy and recover health equal to 35% of the damage dealt. That is pretty awesome skill. And then we have the last skill, a convert 20% of this character's current health into 150% percent damage to all enemies and grant a bonus turn opening up and defeat to open the defeat the defeat wow my english is terrible of an enemy actually looks like a pretty solid skill too so the different characters we're going to be building in the future guys now we're going to go into the limited summon let's see if we can actually get some good rng maybe another legendary we are on a roll guys sadly no characters we actually wanted to ascend uh well yeah to ascend actually got dropped today so this is definitely not as good as we want we need a uh, you know uh balbarite we need uh idracy we need um blackhorn we need uh i forgot the name of the the fire lady uh so sadly we did not get anything in that vein but hey at least we um we got a couple legendary so we cannot really complain about that here we get Adacris, actually good characters. We uh, maybe worth building. We're gonna have to take a look at him for future build. Uh definitely some great pull today. It's definitely some great pull. Just not the characters I'm looking for, Sally. So we have three more pulls here. Let's see if we can actually pull a legendary or the PD timer is not going to be high enough for us. I don't think it's gonna be high enough for us, but we still want to give it a shot. Two Raji in a row. I'm gonna call you Raji because my French accent wanted me call him I want me to call him from Raji and here we follow with a what a Jacob not building these characters but it is the first time we pull him so that is definitely great in the last pull let's see uh if we get something good here and another golden beam so let's see what we get and we get all oh, Windrex hell yeah finally we pull a win track guys we're going to be able to build her at least to four stars make her as fast as possible and start doing some job in pvp oh my god freaking finally almost a month in man i finally get my freaking win tracks and it looks like the pd timer is not working for the limited summon by the way guys i know this is weird oh once you get it it's not working anymore 
Okay, I guess you only get a PD timer uh, once a month or something like that, or there's a bug. Anyway, we got some great stuff today, definitely. Now we're going to go claim all the rewards you get from this event, obviously, because those are great rewards. Uh, definitely going to help us build uh, wind tracks. Might even be able to build her to five stars right off the bat, which will be great. Do we get, yeah, we get 4,000 points. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So three star pumpkin, XP boost, Terra ring. We're going to have to go look at if we got any good stats on it. 100 diamonds. Those are useful. Those are useful. A Terra neck, a four star pumpkin, and five of those. Very, very, very useful. Now we're going to go in here. We're going to open this little thing. That's very useful for us, but still pretty nice and then we're gonna go in gear and we're gonna look at those two things we just pulled we pulled that seven percent hp on the neck this is great the rest of the stats not that great but still hp percentage primary is great and hp percentage is primary here and what defense percentage so if we can get that defense up on both those Thing could actually be very very good actually it's better than what i usually get at that point and then we go into here we got a bunch of new crystal to claim always check your index guys after you pull summons because you have a good chance to get some extra diamonds which is always useful obviously so this one is done let's go here here we got this character and we got a bonding too so it's gonna be a good amount of diamonds here so you can see we got another 20 diamonds here and then we got those three faction here we finally got my wind tracks we're gonna have to make her as fast as freaking possible and uh you know to get her buff and that's gonna be awesome then we got here we got a bonding another 20 diamonds Oh, so they have a synergy together from what I can see. Whatever, a rating. Her rating is actually pretty solid, except, except armor incursion. And no, she does not have its, uh, a synergy here, but she has a synergy with Blackhorn, which is actually pretty good. Uh, and then if we go with the last faction here, we pull in the list here. This one, we're going to be able to take a look at the synergy she has too. Uh, let's go here she has a synergy with nobody uh, i mean nobody is showing synergy but she looks pretty solid in the rating so far from other players so i guess those are two uh, legendary i'm going to have to build in the future but anyway guys for today's video that was pretty much it that was an amazing 40 pulls guys i cannot complain about today's poll i literally cannot complain even though we did not get duplicate we needed we got so much great shit that we're just gonna roll with it guys anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for being part of my amazing community you all keep enjoying playing awaken chaos era and i will see you guys again in the next video thank you